but I'm going to try and give a quick overview about Boston College. And there's really four things I would like you to remember about Boston College. The first thing is the campus. As you can see from that previous photo, we are located in, not in the city of Boston, but uh, in the suburbs. The city is in the background there. Uh, if we wanna to move to the next slide. Um, the city is about six miles east of where our campus is. So in Massachusetts, we have public transportation. Boston College has public transportation immediately across the street, which easily gets students into the city. Um, you'll certainly hear my colleagues from Northeastern and Babson sharing this, but with all due respect to our, our good friend from, from New Orleans, uh, we do feel that Boston is the best college town in America because we do have a lot of colleges and a, col and a lot of college students. If you could go to the next slide. The city certainly has a lot of things for students to do because we experience about a quarter of a million college students coming into our city every single year. And Boston is the number three city in the US uh, destination for international citizens in particular. So there's a lot of social outlets, but it's also a great city to supplement whatever you're studying on our various campuses because it's a great hub that welcomes a lot of wonderful companies and corporations. So students can take advantage of the opportunities to engage socially, but then also in terms of internships. Next, please. The third thing to remember about Boston College is the community. Uh, we are a highly residential environment. Uh, the vast majority of our students live on campus. We are a medium-sized university with 9,400 undergraduate students and about 5,000 graduate students. Um, we are a global community. About 8% of our student body are international citizens. Um, we see Students really interested in one of our four academic divisions. We have a School of Arts and Sciences, which houses a lot of our liberal arts and sciences major. We have a School of Business. We have a School of Education. And then we also have a School of Nursing. Brand new to Boston College, we have a, an engineering program that is contained within our School of Arts and Sciences as well. It's a very spirited environment. We have over 300 clubs and organizations for students to be a part of. And we also are, are excited to welcome Division I Athletics, which is the highest caliber of athletics a school can have. And then we're going to move on to our final slide for BC. The final piece to remember about Boston College is that we are a caring institution or a caring environment. We are a Jesuit Catholic university, uh, which we are one of 27 in the United States. Students do not need to be go Catholic to go to Boston College. And we're going to start off with presenter introductions. So as by way of introduction, my name is Danielle Wells. I am uh, one of the Associate Directors of Admission at Boston College. I am fortunate enough to have uh, the entire continent of Europe, with the exception of the UK um, and Switzerland. Uh, so I, uh, any of you who are from those countries, uh, you will be working with me directly. Awesome. Hi, everyone. My name is Christina Hamilton. I'm the Associate Director of Undergraduate Admission at Babson College. So excited to be here with you today, even virtually. Um, and I also read applications for most of Europe. So uh, for most of you today, I'll be the one reading your application if you apply to Babson. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Courtney Kipp. I'm an Associate Director of Admissions at Northeastern University in Boston, and I read all of the applications for students who attend high school in Spain, Portugal, France, Switzerland, and then the entire Nordic Northern Europe region. So looking forward to connecting with all of you. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff Schiffman. I'm the Director of Undergraduate Admission at Tulane University, the lone school on this webinar not located in Boston, Massachusetts. My colleagues like to argue with me that Boston is the best college city in America. I would disagree. I think it's New Orleans where we are located. Uh, I am a Tulane graduate and I've been working with European students for the last 15 start a years. start business in our cornerstone of our curriculum, which we call FME. Foundations of Management Entrepreneurship. If you attend any virtual event with Babson, you'll learn a lot about this program, but essentially all of our students will be given a loan from Babson to start a business in their first year through a guided course curriculum where you really have an environment to just try something out, real product, real money. It's a very exciting part of our curriculum that gives our students, again, that kind of thread of entrepreneurship that you'll see throughout the curriculum. Half of the courses at Babson will be in business and half will be in the liberal arts. And then we have 27 different concentrations by which you can focus your degree into different elements of business, things you might be interested in, career paths, whatever you might be looking for. 
As far as student life on campus goes, we are a very residential community. We are 30% international. Our students come from 80 different countries. If you walk around campus, you can hear uh, just under 60 languages spoken on campus. So definitely a very global and entrepreneurial environment. Um, and so without further ado, we will pass it along. I believe we're staying in Boston. Yes, Northeastern. Excellent. So we're going to go back toward Boston, back into Boston. Northeastern University is located in the heart of Boston. We are in between a couple of major neighborhoods in Boston, the Fenway neighborhood where Fenway Park is, where the Red Sox play, the Back Bay neighborhood where you will find the John Hancock and the Prudential Towers, and the South End, which is kind of the historic neighborhood of Boston. Northeastern University is really lucky to have both an urban and a residential environment for its students. So we do guarantee housing for all of our students for all four years, but we are located right in Boston. So students don't have to sacrifice the quintessential college campus experience um, or the urban experience. We are a leader in international student education at Northeastern. About 20% of our incoming students are international students and they come from over 120 countries worldwide. We are most known for being an experiential university. So if you could please go to the next slide. So in addition to having a very rigorous academic experience where we offer seven different undergraduate colleges from engineering to computer science, from business to arts, media and design, from the health, excuse me, the health sciences to social sciences and humanities. All of our students are going to have a rigorous um, immersive experience during their time at the university. We want our students to take their learning outside the classroom. Our signature program is co-op. Co-op is a six-month full-time typically paid work experience program. Co-op is more than an internship. It's an opportunity for students to really test drive a career before they ultimately buy that career. In addition to co-op, many of our students will do a study abroad experience. Community service is certainly popular on and around our campus being in a major urban area and we are a tier one research university as well. Similar to Boston College, we are division one for all of our athletic programs. Um, we are a big hockey school, so if you're not a hockey fan now, you will certainly graduate a hockey fan. And that's a very quick snippet on Northeastern. I'm going to toss the mic over to Tulane to finish us off. And we're heading way down south to New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, oftentimes I've heard New Orleans referred to as the northernmost city in the Caribbean rather than the southernmost city in the United States. Uh, we're located right in the heart of New Orleans. Um, somewhat similar to my colleague uh, from Northeastern, we really do give the benefit of a campus and a city combined into one. And I think if you uh, go back two slides, you'll see that first slide showed a little bit. Yeah, so that's where we're located. Beautiful green live oak trees all throughout our campus. And then just a quick public transportation ride to the middle of downtown New Orleans. Two quick things to know about Tulane, and I'll go to the next slide to talk about the first one. First is that we could potentially be one of the most flexible universities in America. Um, in America, you'll learn a lot that some schools require you to apply to their specific programs. And uh, I know some schools in the UK, for example, make it a little bit harder to switch programs. Here at Tulane, if you are admitted to our university, you're directly admitted into all five of our schools and all 75 of our majors. Just to give you a quick, quick synopsis of the five undergraduate schools we offer, we have a wonderful School of Liberal Arts here, a very strong program in science and engineering. We have the Freeman School of Business, which is where I graduated from. We have a very strong School of Public Health. I will just pause for a moment and say that now would be a really, 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 really good time to consider taking some classes in public health or potentially even considering majoring in it. Essentially, the field of public health is studying how a disease will travel through a population of people rather than how it travels through the human body. And so our public health students are saying, how can we research how to prevent something from spreading rather than pre-med students who say how do we treat the human body once it's been affected by that disease. So public health is obviously the world that we are living in right now, but it's also other things like, um, you know, how do you provide healthy eating options for people in low income neighborhoods? Um, even things like racism around the world. That is a public health issue, and our students are researching that every single day. Public health is the fastest growing undergraduate major in the world right now, so please consider the world needs you to do public health. And then lastly, we have a School of Architecture as well. 
The other thing to note about Tulane, uh, and if you go to the next slide, I can tell you a little bit about that. Um, yes, I know my colleagues are bragging about Boston, but I am a huge New Orleans fan. It's one of the most incredible cities in the United States. I'll give you just a quick example of why it's, I think, one of the coolest and most incredible cities to go to for college. And if you can show me the next slide, I'll show you why I think that's the case. We are <laughs> a very, very big city for festivals. Um, New Orleans is one of the most culturally rich cities in the world. We also have one of the best music scenes. We are, of course, the birthplace of jazz music but we are also a very very good city to eat these are pictures that i took of four festivals that i attended right as we shut down before coronavirus upper left hand corner is the new orleans fried chicken festival upper right hand corner is the new orleans mac and cheese festival that's right we have a festival just dedicated to mac and cheese lower right hand corner is the new orleans po' boy festival and then on the left bottom corner it's my personal favorite, and I know my colleagues would enjoy this as well. It is the Southern Cheese and Wine Festival. All you do is just eat cheese and wine all day. It's obviously my personal favorite. The next slide I'll tell you about why I really do feel like New Orleans could be one of the most incredible places to get an education, and that's the ability that we give our students to make a difference in their community. Every single student here at Tulane does a full-scale service project in their junior and senior year. This is a picture of an urban build home that our School of Architecture students have built. Our undergraduate students in the School of Architecture have built 16 homes here in New Orleans, and then they give that home, sell it at cost to a first-time home buyer in a low-income neighborhood. Our biomedical engineering students have uh, partnered with real clients in the city of New Orleans to build medical devices for them. Louisiana is also kind of ground zero for climate change, so our students have researched wetland loss and coastal erosion. Uh, following Hurricane Katrina, Tulane became the first university in America to have a public service component of graduation. And we've been at it a long time. Uh, in 1834, when we were founded, we were one of the only schools that's been founded by doctors in response to the pandemic at that time. And that was the yellow fever. And so we've really been responding to the challenges the world has thrown up uh, at us by doing these amazing service projects that give back to our community. So if you're looking to go to college in what is arguably the best college in America and do so in a way that really gives back to the community and you'll eat a lot while you're here, apply to Tulane. That's it.